What the f*** are you doing? What the hell? Why are you so down? I don't know. And why didn't you make a video last week? I just wasn't feeling it. I don't know. Yeah, but who cares? That's what you like to do. Yeah. Yeah, just teach somebody something new. Teach them new, something new. I don't know. I don't really know what to teach them. Whatever it may be. I don't know. I'm sure you'll figure it out. True. Can you please get out of my bag? Uh, I'm gonna stay in the bag. Okay. Oh, and by the way, get a haircut. So what's up guys? So today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to color grade the fastest. It's the biggest time saver ever. I posted about it on my Instagram, on my stories about like a week or two ago. It's a thing that Adobe released and it's called Color Match. It was the coolest thing I read about. I had just had to share it on Instagram so I posted it on my story. Also there was another thing called audio ducking that you could do as well. But we won't get into that today. We're just gonna do color grading because that seems to be kind of the area where I struggle in the most and I would like to better myself in. And this just made it 10 times easier for me and I hope for you as well. So let's get into Premiere Pro and check it out. So on the timeline here we have a few clips of Scoob's surfing and also we have a drone shot and usually the drone shots for the Phantom 4 don't look the greatest so it's awesome that they have this color match. It just takes a little bit of time out of the whole color grading process in post. I also have a few more clips at the end towards the end of the timeline that we have in this sequence. Um, this is from our hike at Ancient Lakes, out looking, overlooking the lake, and then this drone shot that just has no color in it. So what we wanna do is take some of that orange from that first shot and have it color match into this, and it's super easy, so check this out. So what we wanna do is up here in the top bar, you wanna click on color, and it's gonna bring you straight to the color workspace. And the color workspace should have everything you need to color with Lumetri scopes and your Lumetri color tabs over here. Over here on the right side panel, you're gonna have a new thing called color wheels and match. You just go ahead and click on that, and then you wanna click on comparison view. So what comparison views is gonna bring up uh, whatever your reference is, and then it's gonna have your shot that you want to match your reference right next to it on the right side. So what you wanna do is under reference, it's gonna have this, this little timeline scroller you just go to the point of reference that you want your clips to match. We're just gonna grab this clip, for example, of Steven surfing, and then we're gonna go straight to the drone shot. And then all you have to do is press apply match over here on this right-hand panel. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna match to the best it can to what that clip is. So it kind of keeps everything similar. Or we can even try going using uh, this very first clip as a reference, because the colors look nice, it looks okay. Take that clip, put it as a reference, which it is, and then we can go to our drone clip and press apply match. And what that's gonna do is try to match it to the best it can, which it did. I'll just get rid of this middle clip right here. And that turned out pretty good. So in my opinion, if you go from that to that, it looks a lot better and it did it all for you. Adjusting all the shadows, the midtones, the highlights, all the colors for you, just to match that first clip. It did a pretty decent job. Now let's move to our next set of clips that we have for another example. So we'll have Josh here walking out on the ledge and we're gonna basically use this as our reference point if I can get to it, there we go. We're gonna use this as our reference point to match all the other clips. So we'll go to our next one, and we have just the shot of the camera on the ground, and all you have to do, literally again, is just hit apply match, and it should automatically color grade and match those two clips. Pretty awesome. It's so badass because it saves so much time when it comes to color grading. I used to go through each clip and try to match the last one. I'm not the best at it, but I would try to match each clip to kind of make it look similar. You guys probably wouldn't notice that if you're just like a regular video watcher or you're not you don't really edit videos very much, but it is very time consuming, let's just say that. Now let's just move on to our next clip. This is gonna be the drone shot. So there's not a whole lot of color 
with this drone shot at Ancient Lakes. I wanted it to be a little bit more orange, that warm feel to the video. You'll take that reference point and just hit apply match again. And what it'll do is it'll do its best to match those two clips to be pretty similar. And I think it did a pretty good job when it comes to making it a little bit warmer and that just that more of an orange pop, orange and browns pop. I think it turned out pretty good. Let's exit out of comparison view. Go back, get him walking out on the ledge. So badass. So if you guys are into color grading or starting to color grade your videos, I think this is super, a super helpful tool. The color wheels and match is so badass. Like I said, I posted about it on Instagram a few weeks ago when Adobe released the information online about what they're gonna be doing in the next update. I finally got the update. Figured I'd share this with you guys if you didn't know already. So uh, yeah, a new tool for the toolbox and I'm pretty excited about it. If you guys enjoyed the video, please slap that thumbs up button and subscribe, it helps a lot. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace out. Yeah, my bad.